Hello and welcome back to Alan Wake 2, and we are about to password. dive in and this warrant, computer. Technically. But hey, desperate times. Oh, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. It needs a password, huh? Anything to do with that? Six letters, six numbers, huh? The day after the next new moon, as is tradition. And we had a date, no? So the acceptance letter arrived on the 15th of August. What year though? Or is that not relevant? So it'd be the 17th, the day after the next new moon. So the 17th of August. Yay! <laughs> I realize you guys probably found that really easy, but I'm really not good at puzzles. Um. Oh, can I unlock all of it? And the doors are open. Yes, baby! I'm happy, can you tell? I can't do anything else though. Oh, yes we can. What's the media? There's Tor. <gasps> and he's out of his mind. Need to get to him. Tor's hammer. Is he changing? Oh, it's 14th of September. Good to know. Vladimir, I do not need to remind you that Tor and Odin would be ideal candidates for the cult. Please try harder to recruit them. Why did you take the doorknob to my personal room? I'm sick of old people tricks. Who did he send it to? Artie, Vlad, Rose, Donna, and four others. You bring it back so I can get my rifle. Oh, I'm not got room for that. I'm supposed to go on a deer hunt tomorrow. If you don't, I will hunt you instead. Damn. I'm a, I'm a little doorknob. <laughs> I'm not going to see. I'm a little doorknob that's out of place, but solve these clues and you can trace the way to your private space. I meet you at the greet inside a bright glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. Okay, so the entrance. In the flower pot. I feel like I'm playing Cluedo. <laughs> In the library with the candlestick. Can I go in here now? You son of a gun. We've got a lot of doors to look at, dudes. And I am going to. Because I can. Still don't get why that's there. I'm a bit nervous to think about it, but we'll get there. Was there any doors in here? That one, right? Where is Shit! Holy smokes! Oh, wowza! Hello! You're new! Oh wow, what are you, dude? Oh, it's the whole thing? Okay, I thought I'd- Whoa, buddy! Oh, 
Where's my boomstick? Ouch. Where's he gone? Okay, anyway. <laughs> He's behind me. Okay, I need both hands for this, I think. That sounded ominous, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, don't be blum. That looks like an outfit for security, right? Oh, I love he's wearing Converse. I do love Converse. Priorities. Okay, let's save quickly. Reorganize quickly. You know me. The water's just suddenly gone, huh? Sure, Jan. I missed this room, or was it locked? It was locked. Gale Barrows, violent outburst resulting from rapid onset dementia should be restrained whenever possible until a dosage can be found that impedes his aggression. Oh, Gale's a bloke. Okay, I didn't expect that, to be honest. Harry. <laughs> um. Violent outbursts? I don't think she's restrained, or they're restrained anymore. Where are the restraints? There are no restraints. What are you on about? That was open. Okay. Well, I didn't figure out that riddle well, did I? Ah, the other side. Ooh, Saga, you scared me. Damn girl. Is that, I wonder? Oh no! We have warm coffee. What? We have warm coffee to warm you up. You. From. I have no clue. I can't read that writing at all. What is this? Oh, that's horrible. Haven't been in here, have we? Must have.
Missing a doorknob, anyone? I realise I just took the long way, but it is what it is. <laughs> Did I? Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Coscula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its light shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the Fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. I didn't even do that. I already what is... Care of all this. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Um... Anyway, <laughs> CCT footage of Tor behaving erratically. Chart says Tor's behaviour has been increasingly volatile. Sure. So is Gale. Is that who I just took out? Well, why is he in the suit, though? The, uh, outfit. Bloody bandage found on Tor's bed and it's still fresh. That's not going to be able to be read. There we go. Cult initiation letter signed by Ilmo. No. What? Oh, that's because of... I'm sorry, what now? Ooh, there's another one. You son of a gun, literally. Oh, <gasps> eight remaining. They're all so soft and sad. Hold on, is that not the kind of thing we saw by the well? What is this blood, dude? Why can't I pick it up? Is it inventory space? Huh. Oh no! Wrong button. Why me? Oh! <laughs> Let's not talk about it, dude. 
still? How big is this freaking thing? I can't discard. Oh. There we go. Dude, that took up three? No, that's more than three. That's four. What a joke. I haven't even got any ammo for it. Still sexy, though. And I know it. Okay. So what do you guys think? Was that Gale? That was blocking that door. He looked very friendly. More? Oh! <laughs> Catch up with Tor. We do. I've taken a long time to get to him. <sighs> Thought that was blood. Mittens homemade, a notebook full of daily meal plans, a nice fountain pe pen. My voice went. An antique care clip, very pretty. Address inquiries, inquiries, <laughs> to your friend Rose. I found a box of ammo for a hunting rifle in the cafeteria. Rose, I think you left some behind again. Interesting. You really should be more careful. Take a tip from Vlad, a fellow weapon enthusiast. Always lock it up. Come collect it for me whenever you can. I th bought that tea you said you liked. I can make you a cup if you want. Rose having tea. What a traitor. Coffee cup mascot costume for sale. <laughs> well, Tor's been having fun, huh? Look at the mess. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. Donuts. A cop's best friend. You left your hammer, dude. This must have been Tor's. Oh. <sighs> Who? Why is Tor suddenly giving in? Makes no sense to the storyline. Give me answers, guys. Give me answers. He fought it this long just to be taken now. That better not be Rose. Someone just shouted Tor, right? Come back! Come back. Tor, don't go! Tor Anderson, you come out of here this minute. That water is <laughs> bad. No. She knows way more than she's letting on. Ooh. Can't open this with my bare hands. Dude, you're teasing me.
It's 1988, a face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even. Or, changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. Oh, dude. I don't know which part was worse. You know what I'm doing. Three remaining. Oh damn. I didn't realise I've got so many. Okay. I'd say back to the real world, but who knows at this point. Rose, honey, you have a lot you need to talk to me about. Any lunch boxes? No. What did you do, Rose? We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> Doors everywhere. Something to cut this. Oh, nice. Why though? That's the question. Is she about to go Hulk smash on me? What happened, Rose? What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Saka? Oh, gosh. Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? What is wrong with we you? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. What? I put her lamp in the shoebox. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? She's inhabited by Cynthia? Rose. Um, Wake has returned. Oh my god. <laughs> You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! 
feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torengale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. What? I've just realised she said beware of the puddles. Now I know what she meant. Oh, I love Full Circle. Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Um, he doesn't seem very conversational right now. Oh. <gasps> I'm sorry, what that? Oh, my life. Page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart. And mine. Listen to the song, Saga. Where is it's it? It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Which we can't get into, we need a key. Name. Ah, that's the fob she gave me. My okay. Mom took me away when I was still a baby. Slow Doesn't in the uptake? Just a little bit. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Let's go. 